Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekend reading. So this is for the weekend. So you could say Friday to, you know, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, but the timing is always fluid anyway. But this is for the weekend, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for somebody. It may or may not be you. I am still going to do a daily vibe for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, this is just a general energy for the weekend. I am not accepting any more private readings at this time. I understand a lot of you have already sent me requests, and I got about 30 of them in there unread. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do those or not. So if you haven't heard from me, I may or may not respond. I just have to be honest with you. I'm a little overwhelmed. And I want to get caught up on my YouTube readings, so I'm not going to accept any new readings at this time. If you're in the inbox already, I know if you are or not, because the date is already there. Um, I may or may not consider it. I will let you know. If you're already booked and paid, yes, you're on the schedule. You're already on the schedule. If I, don't, do not send me money and think you're going to get in there because you sent me the money. I'm going to I'll send that money right back. So, um, just so you know, I'm not accepting private readings. In the future, I will do it again. But right now, I need to get caught up. So, that's where we're at. This one came flying out. Ooh. Wow. It looks like somebody's shutting down. All right. I'm just going to be honest with you. Somebody is shutting down their emotions. Um, and they're not, you know, it's like they're going through a repression. It's like all of a sudden somebody is probably retreating. Uh, not Maybe not wanting to communicate at all. Somebody may be deciding that they want to go into hiding. Um, there could be a feeling of... of uh, not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do next. I feel as though somebody is has lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. Things are a little chaotic right now. They may be dealing with a lot of burdens in their life. Things are a little overwhelming. I think there's overwhelming emotions here. Um, somebody could be feeling very frustrated with the demands that they are dealing with. Um, needing to just retreat. I need to retreat. Uh, things are just too much. Things may be a little too much at this time during this weekend. I feel like somebody is has been going through a period of darkness and perhaps they are, you know, doing everything in their power to, to come out of it. But, you know, they may be beginning to see the light, but they're at the very beginning. Um... Somebody is going through some sort of recovery, you know, and this period of recovery is pro needs to be done alone, that kind of thing. I need to do this alone, um, not emotionally available. Um, <laughs> you guys all know I can't make this shit up. I'm doing it alone. I'm doing it alone. <laughs> Independent. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay, I'm working on myself. I'm working on my my uh, abundance. I think that somebody is has decided. You know, I, I, I'm grateful. I, I I I'm good right where I'm at. Maybe I just need my own independence right now. I feel like somebody is, you know, putting themselves first because that's what they need to do. I think the, the the thing is 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 the, the 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 practical way to heal from a loss is to do it by yourself. And I think that's what somebody is realizing, you know, I'm going to do this right now by myself and that doesn't include, you know, involving another person, you know. It doesn't. I feel like there's an absence of wanting togetherness here. Now, I've shuffled this deck many times. I have. We've got only one upright card, and it is, a, it's, it's, it's a really good upright card. There's an absence 
of wanting to work with another person right now. And that is what this is. It's like, I just can't be with you right now. I can't do this right now. I, I need to set boundaries for my life. I don't have any desire. I don't have any um, energy to give to you. I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely wanting to go within, wanting to be alone, wanting to, needing to heal feeling like it, they are overwhelmed. We have an overwhelmed person that is watching this right now that is saying, oh my God, this is for me. Um, you know, there's there's a feeling of restlessness and discontent and blocking everybody. Like, I'm just going to block everybody out right now because I'm not in a healthy state of mind and the only way that I'm going to get healthy is on my own. You know, I need to enjoy and be grateful for be grateful for what I have and enjoy what I have right now. It's like there's a newfound self-worth. There's a new found self-value. It's like it's all about me. It's all about me right now. And I, I just can't um, give to you. So that's what I feel like this is. I feel like somebody has made a decision to put up their guard, put up a boundary and not give their energy and attention to anybody else but themselves. And I think that's a very wise decision. I do. I feel as though, you know, somebody has got some resent inside of them and some bitterness and some anger that needs to be dealt with. It's like they've been grieving, okay? There's a, grief, there's a grievance here that is being healed, okay? And they're not healed. And I think that somebody is taking the time to heal from a grievance and knowing that I have to do this you know, alone and go, there's like a feeling of not trusting anybody, not believing anybody. I, I, you know, right now I just, the only person I can trust is me, that kind of energy. So I feel like somebody, if, if he may be turning down a love offer or walking away from a love offer or just not giving it any energy whatsoever, I just don't have the energy. I don't have the energy to give to you because I'm overwhelmed. Things are too chaotic right now. And, and I'm not saying that this is my life. I'm, this is what I see right here. Okay. Um, Yeah, somebody's putting their guard up. They're, they're they're and they're making a they're making a wise decision because they know they're not ready. That's what I see. I mean, I don't even know if I need to go any further. Uh, somebody is shutting down. Definitely, it's like they're 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 shutting down their emotions towards allowing anybody into their space. It's like step back. You know, step back. I stay out of my space because right now it's about me. I feel like somebody is seeing a situation absolutely clearly about what they need to de do. It's they're coming out of a period of darkness. And the only way for them to come out of this darkness is by themselves. So we have Aries. This is uh, the Emperor. This is the Moon, which is Pisces. We have... Uh, this is the Page of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the High Priestess. Um, this would be a Pisces, could be a Taurus. Um, here we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody here. It doesn't matter. You could say this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we have everybody. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um... Somebody is seeing and they know, somebody knows that they have to regain structure. They have to regain um, stability in their life. And the only way to do it is without outer influence. So that's what I, that's what I see. I mean, that's what I see. So I feel like somebody is retreating with the high priestess reversed. I feel like somebody is, you know... Feeling like they've lost themselves and they just need to re redefine and refine, re re refine, restructure, like, come back to me. You know, I need to find myself again. So I really feel, this is a Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is, you know, stuck in a rut. Somebody has been through a run of bad luck and... 
now things are have been out of control and it's time to restore control it's, it's like I mean, the emperor with the wheel of fortune reversed. These are both clinging to control. If these are there's control issues here, trying to get things back under control. I think this is. I think things have been out of control. Things have been chaotic. Things have been disorganized, and it's like the only way I'm gonna I'm going to get to a better place is to just retreat. Yeah, somebody's in an unhealthy state of mind. They need to regain their positivity. They need to regain their health. I think that somebody's health has declined through some sort of grievance, you know, some sort of loss, some sort of addiction even. Somebody's health has declined and they've been in an unhappy state of mind. And the only way to heal is with time. Oh, the Hierophant. This is going within, believing, having faith and trust. This is committing, okay? This is committing to following your own path. Somebody may be seeking guidance from above. Or seeking guidance from within. Somebody is really listening to their inner guide. And I think that their inner guide is saying, time out. That's what I think this is. Time out. Time to heal. Take time to heal. Take time to nurture yourself. Yeah, somebody has lost their their energy, lost their, their drive, and they need to relight that spark within them. It's like they don't have any desire or confidence or energy or drive to I think work with anybody else right now. I feel like we have a somebody that is watching this that is going through a period of um, kind of like, woe is me, you know, woe is me. And But it's not a bad thing because, I mean, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is somebody who is very strong, somebody that is very wise, somebody that knows that the only way to build up abundance is to work hard for it and to really focus so I think that we have somebody here that knows because the, the moon card reverses this they know they're into somebody's intuition has and an inner guide has absolute is absolutely working with them it's like they're it's telling them you know no set boundaries set boundaries and work on you so somebody is deciding to just push people away I think um, not not really focus on love or, or or a relationship per se and I feel like somebody is doing that because that's what they need to do I, I need to work on me and it's all about me it's all about me it's all about me somebody may be deciding that they need to get out of an unhealthy relationship and work on me that could be the case Somebody may be, be making that decision that this isn't making me happy. This relationship isn't making me happy. I want a divorce. I need to work on me. Some of you, yes, that's the case. Somebody is absolutely shutting down emotionally. There's no more desire. There's no more passion. There's no more growth. With the Ace of Wands reverse and the Sun reverse, there's no more growth in some sort of relationship. And now it's time to heal. So I really feel like this weekend is a day of believing in yourself, following your own path, and not letting anybody get in your way. And that's what I have for the weekend. Stay tuned for the daily vibes and the weeklies for the elements. I'm going to do those right after this. Um, I have to do my daily vibe. I'm going to do the weeklies like for the earth signs, the fire signs, the water signs, and the air signs. That's coming up next. Thanks for watching. Good luck.